<laughs> What's up, everyone? This is Lord John the Mina. <laughs> so, the event is complete. I actually did try my very, very best to play through this event this weekend because it actually was quite hard, even by splitting my uh, what is it, my battle squads into two different squads, uh, which allowed me to burn all of the uh, 50 fuel cells in one go, which made actually a pretty good difference. It is actually time guys and girls because it's actually been quite some time uh, ago since I last opened uh, yeah or at least since I opened my first prime core and I have YouTube in front of me right now and the first video I uploaded was actually the prime the first prime core which I unlocked which was Megatronus and all the other events uh, what is the, the, the prime core short events haven't actually been able to trigger me. I actually don't really much like those events because they take up a lot of time and I think they're actually pretty much bullshit. But it is what it is. I did try my very best in this event. I did, uh, a little bit less than half of the Prime Core shards uh, to get another Prime Core, to get a second Prime Core. And, you know, I went pretty much all out this weekend. Didn't spell, spend any, uh, any Cyber Coins on Fuse Cells or anything. Just, uh, I got the 29 prestigious as of this morning. I could have gone on the 30, but I was also busy working. And I was like, you know what, I already have this prime core. So I'm not going to, you know, piss off my boss and play any more Transformers uh, in this uh, surrounding. So that's actually okay. But one of the things which I would really like to do right now, because it did take quite some time. Um, what is it? Yeah, to get back home, to get this video started and everything, you know. I'm pretty damn curious on what this new Prime Core is going to be. So let's claim the Prime Core chip. Let's use the chip right now. Let's start the video right after this. And let all the world know that we got some 17 free crystals. I'm just kidding. So what's the new, uh, the new Prime Core which has been released, Onyx Prime. Is actually one of the power cores which I would actually really like to get. It's been really, really good actually. We are reducing the damage which the Autobot receives below 40% health. And also increasing the basic attack damage of the Autobot. Uh, are two passive things for that core. Uh, besides that, I don't really know which of the other cores I would really like to get. I haven't been really looking around too much. I did see a lot of uh, lot of posts uh, what is in a group me chat. About some awesome prime cores and some awesome bots to put them on. So I won't keep you guys any more uh, in any more suspension and any more suspicion or whatever. Neither do I want to keep myself over there. So let's go straight for it. Here you go. The second prime core. Let's see what it gives us. Solus? Magnus Prime. Restore 0.5% health to all nearby teammates every 5 seconds. Can't say that's really too bad. Poof. Let's take an awesome picture. For the clan. And that's actually pretty awesome. My Cronus. I actually wanted to switch the mobile over here. But... So let's see what we can do with it. Cronus, my Cronus. More percentage health. To the surrounding bots. Now that would actually be pretty awesome on Ratchet or something, but Ratchet already has the G1 Prime Core on him, so that wouldn't actually be really useful to him. Because he's mostly, you know, backing up walking behind him. Which is, uh, what is more? Maybe something like Rodimus Prime, you know, his AoE ability um, of course charges all the uh, all the other Autobots. Or the Decepticon version for the Decepticons as well. And they do AoE damage uh, according to their own base damage uh, in an AoE attack around them. Which is really awesome. Only less awesome thing is that I only have him two stars. <laughs> so that's not really an option for me. Equipping this uh, Micronus to run. But his overcharge or his matrix burst ability is actually pretty awesome. And it would actually make him a really sufficient guy to put him on. Since he's usually just... Somewhere, uh, what is following the team anyways, with just doing melee attacks on the defenses. 
and just following up with the team. Because if you put this guy or the Micrones or some kind of uh, some kind of warrior or something, like maybe a, a side swipe or an iron heart or something, and it just rushes head in to the front line, you won't get much use out of it, right? So that's really not something which I'm going to be looking for. We also can equip it to RC because she also has a silver power core. The G1. Drift is no way. There's no way that we can equip this to drift. Then we have something like pipes, which this would actually be pretty awesome on. We have hotspot. Would we put it in pipes? Right now I have, this, I have some vitality mod on him. And just like I said, you know, this guy rushes also into the front, but he also has a defensive rush. And one of the utilities, of course, of pipes is to, you know, let this guy jump into the enemy defenses. Uh, attract a lot of defenses, of course, which, uh, and besides that, block a lot of damage. And while as you block a lot of damage, you let your team catch up to pipes uh, while his ability is on and destroy all the defenses around him. So maybe it isn't really that useful for, for him rushing in, but it is really useful on this guy for the rest of our team, uh, what is it? backing pipes up. So that would maybe a consideration, maybe I put it on jump stream. 6.5% vitality, yeah that's the damn shit. <coughs> What else do we have? We have Blaster G1 Core Sludge. Would this be a good Core Sludge? No. No, I really like the damage. Uh, damage. We also have Hotspot, of course, but I don't know, man. If I put the score on Hotspot, uh, Hotspot is usually somewhere in the back just tanking all of the defenses, literally. So I don't really want to put the Micrones on that kind. You know what, I'll tell you guys in the next video, I don't want to keep you guys uh, waiting or anything right now, and I can't really make up my mind on which guy, which guy to put my Cronus on, so I'll just, you know, post a picture in my clan, and ask these guys what's the best spot to put to. Some of the clan members are really, really super awesome, they have really good this headquarters 16, and they have a way better looking uh, way better look on this game than I have so I'm just going to ask him as, as, uh, for some free advice it's really awesome and you know I'll give you guys a heads up in the next video uh, on which which guy equipped the Megatronus uh, oh no I'll, I'll already switch Megatron on which guy I want to put my Cronus sorry so that's pretty much it for this video I'm actually really glad with this power core with this prime core I did try my, my very damn best this weekend, man. You don't have to underestimate this stupid event. You literally have to play all of the time to complete all of the 30 prestiges, which is one of the reasons why I really dislike this stupid event. And it's a solo event. So, yeah, Space Ape, do something about it. And besides that, that's pretty much it. I don't really feel like attacking anything. I don't really feel like unlocking three crystals. We did. Um, gather up the resources to take some prime in that and with that let's end the video i hope you guys all enjoyed at least i did i was really 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 anticipating uh what is the next prime core unlocking i do have quite a lot of time quite a lot of way to go to the next prime core 5000 shards which is a pretty big deal but we'll see where we end up somewhere in the meantime and you know i'll check you guys on wednesday with the new uh what is new update on the clan uh clan event spoilers it's going to be a clan event so i'll give you guys a heads up wednesday about the new event which is coming up for friday and maybe they, they release the new two autobots or the new uh, the new autobot and decepticon which they've been uh, announcing well, yeah, it was wasp and the other one i don't quite know anymore wasp is uh, uh, by the way wasp is a really awesome band you guys should listen to it so that's just a little side note take it with some pride and I'll see you guys in the next videos. Peace out.